Most people think of transportation as a commodity, but just like with hotels, restaurants, and rental car companies, there's quite a strata from low budget to high luxury. So what is your sweet spot in the transportation marketplace and how do you find it? I like to think of the transportation marketplace as an inverted pyramid. At the very bottom, you're going to have the lowest price and the fewest available carriers. As you move up, you're going to pay more, but you're also going to have more carriers willing to haul your shipment. If you're moving a truckload of sand and you've already got 10 truckloads on site, you might as well go with the lowest price. Shop at the bottom end of that pyramid. You've got time. It's a low cost item. It's not likely to get damaged. If, however, you're selling that truckload of sand to a cement plant that needs it desperately in the morning, otherwise the plant will shut down, you need to move up that pyramid and get yourself a more reliable level of service. Your decisions regarding transportation should support your overall business strategy. For example, if you're selling a high-end product or one that's easily damaged or very time sensitive, you probably don't want to go with the lowest price. If it shows up three days late and damaged, is your customer likely to buy from you again? What does that do to your reputation in the industry? Make sure when you're evaluating your transportation purchase decision that you look at line haul costs as just one component of your total cost. How much time are you going to have to spend monitoring the shipment? What's the cost of delay? I have one customer that has a crew waiting for the truck to show up and install the product. It's $800 an hour for them when that truck is late. What is the cost of damaged goods? And also, whenever there's service failures, what is the cost to your reputation? Now that you've found your sweet spot on our transportation pyramid, I encourage you to visit our website, matchmakerlogistics.com.